G'day, I'm Dr. Ben Pinchett, a behavioural biologist here at Toronga Zoo, and this is our two dingoes, Kep Kep and Warrida. You may have seen last night myself and Dr. Neil Jordan on Who's Who in the Zoo talking about our research on dingoes as part of the Mild Lake Dingo Project. Since we filmed that, I'm really pleased to say that Andy, the male who we were filming, has paired up with the female who he had just just encountered at that time, and they've had a pup, oh, sorry, had a pack of about four pups in the last year. So we're, we're monitoring them really closely. Now, given that it's summer season at the moment and a lot of people are out and about camping on dingo country, it's really important to bear in mind how to be safe around dingoes. So the number one rule is don't approach a dingo. Just keep your distance and enjoy them in their natural environment. Now you'll notice, particularly if you look at Warrida, she's a really slim, slight looking animal. And that's the natural state for dingoes. So quite often we think dingoes look hung hungry when we see them, but in actual fact, they're normally quite a skinny animal. So don't, whatever you do, don't feed dingoes. As Neil said last night, a fed dingo is a dead dingo. We don't want dingoes to learn to associate people with food because that's when they want to approach people. If we can leave dingoes alone to be the natural apex predator that they are, they can maintain their really important place in the ecosystem and we can enjoy them for the beautiful animals that they are too.